Now we go to the second RE model which is CE configuration. Let's consider a CE configuration using NPN transistor. Okay. We transforming into its equivalent SC model and we get like this. Okay. You see the B uh, from B to E the IB flow from B to E and then this diode this arrow represents the diode, okay, and then here the IC is related to with the beta IB of the currents. So this is we uh, put the current source. So same with the CB configuration at input terminal, the current must flow from terminal B to E, and it is equivalent to a diode. At the output terminal. The collected current is dependent to the base current which is IC equal to beta IB. So it is equivalent to a dependent source. Okay, remember that CE configuration. Uh, the E terminal must be at the ground. Okay. Transforming the AC equivalent model into RE equivalent model. Okay, here. Then we change the uh, diode into this. E, the resistance of the AC AC resistance here so uh, when we get this okay you see um, the IE need to independent by not depending on IB and IC as for that RE need to be configured like this okay so uh, you see when we transform it to this circuit okay so IB will flow uh, from B to E and then at the same time the IC is actually flow from C to E so if you take a look at this uh, figure the C current IC will flow from C to E that's why we get this direction for the current source so um, we take a look the equation or the input parameters okay will be like the v in v in is equal to i e multiply with r e okay so we know that i e is actually equal to beta plus one i b then we insert here and multiply with r e and then we know that i e I in okay, is equal with the IB. So uh, the Z in is V in divided by I in. So we get the value is uh, the equation is beta plus 1 R in. Okay. So Z in is approximate beta r e because beta is normally is greater and then when it when we plus with one the value is almost or approximate with the original beta so we can use this approximation so z in equal to beta r e that's why then we get here okay the beta r e so in dc the term the emitter current is same okay with the uh, AC okay we can use this equation in AC and in DC okay for the Z out it will determine by the transistors output characteristic so you recall back the what we have learned in the common emitter configuration we have this graph and the difference with it with the common base is the slope Okay, if the common base it has a very the similar uh, curve for the slope, and then after that it will get a flat uh, current. But for the CE configuration, the difference is here. Okay, the slope is not flat like a common base. Okay, so notice that the slope is different from the various input current and as for that a resistance uh, we call it R out 
connected from terminal C to E is equivalent to this slope. It's actually to represent uh, this kind of resistor. So we insert R out at the output side. Okay, so we get Z out equal to R out. So this is the complete model for the RE config. Uh, sorry, for the CE configuration, where we get this R out. Okay, remember that the common base there is no resistance at output because we say that the impedance. The output impedance is equal to infinity, but for the CE configuration, we have R out here. Okay, so this is the complete uh, model. Okay, for the uh, BJT common emitter transistor amplifier with the R load here. Okay, now we see how we, we want to get the equation for the voltage gain. The AV. First, we examine the input. At the input, the V in is I in multiple multiply with Z in. We know that Z in is equal to beta R E. So we get this equation I B and beta R E for the V in. Then for the output, the output we know that uh, the equation is negative I out R L. And then the I out is equal to I C. See the direction for the both uh, currents are same. And then multiply with R L. So we know that I C for the uh, common emitter is negative beta I B. So finally we get V out equal to negative beta I B and R L. Beta I B R L. So when we want to determine the voltage gain, the AV is equal to V out over V in. And we get, finally, the formula for the AV is negative RL over RE. To obtain the current gain, okay, we know current gain AI equal to I out divided by I in. So I out in this uh, model is equal to I uh, sorry, IC and IC equal to beta IB. Then for the I in, I in equal to IB. So after that, from here we can uh, cut this IB and then I in equal to beta. 